This is Lola Lee T. I make a lot of videos about 90 Day Fiancé, so support me by purchasing a super thanks and also hit that like and subscribe button. Hey everybody, sorry for the late recap, but I've been on vacation. So I am back with a recap and review of 90 Day Fiancé UK Season 1, Episode 5 for me, and maybe Episode 7 for you. I don't know, it's showing Episode 5 for me on the app. This episode is called I've Done Nothing Wrong. I downloaded the Discovery app just so that I could do the recaps for you guys. Anyway... Let's get into the recap. Let's talk about Emma and Hussein. I hope I'm saying his name right. If I'm saying it wrong, please forgive me. Emma has a little secret. Hussein has proposed to her over a video call. The plan is she's going to fly to Turkey and they're going to get married there. So just in case you haven't seen him in full effect, this is her fiance. She was so excited to share the news with her friend. Apparently, he sent her the ring in the post. But is it horrible of me to think this? I really think that Emma bought her own ring. Emma's friend is concerned about their relationship because they've been together for six years, but they have not lived together. I think they have more problems to worry about than that. Emma decides to visit her friend who is a nurse. She plans to get a bit of Botox. They chat about Hussein while she's getting her Botox. So the tea is once they get married, he's going to come to the UK. He's going to live with her and her teenage daughter in her house. I mean, I think that is a big mistake. And her daughter is not even on board, but she agreed, she agreed to it because she wanted to please her mom. But there's no way in hell that I would bring a strange man into my home with my teenage daughter. There is no way. I think Emma is making a big mistake. As for the culture shock, and Emma speaks on the culture shock that Hussein will be experiencing. And well, Emma feels that he's just going to have to adjust. Poor thing. Emma thinks that Hussein loves her and that he's willing to leave everything behind to come to the UK to be with her. I feel very skeptical about this relationship. And I've said it before. In my opinion, I think that Hussein is using Emma. I don't think he feels the same way that she feels about him. Emma's friend does not think that the relationship is going to work either because of the massive differences the two of them share, the culture thing, the age thing, and because Emma has been on her own for so long, she feels that the odds are against them. Hussein has to get his paperwork translated to Turkish so that they can take it with him so that he can prove that he can get married. But according to Emma, Hussein is not in any rush. But the paperwork is very important because without it, there's no wedding. Emma is frustrated with him because she's trying to explain how important the paperwork is but they have a communication problem. So imagine they have a communication problem in this area, and I can assure you that they will have communication problems in other areas. This is just the tip of the iceberg. So really, Hussein can't really do anything until his paperwork gets approved. So it really makes no sense for him to book a flight until his paperwork is in order. But Emma just seems to be in such a rush. And I think it's because... 
she is afraid that Hussein will change his mind about marrying her. So she just wants to do it now, now, now. And she claims that if he doesn't show up in Turkey, their relationship is over. I think that is not true. I think if he doesn't show up, she's still she's still going to want to marry him, no matter what. So, like I said, I think this relationship is doomed. I don't think it's going to work. I think that Emma is going to experience heartache. And I feel so bad for her because she just seems to be desperate to find love. I feel like we're just sitting here watching a train wreck, but I'm here for it. What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts about this couple? Thank you so very much for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter. And if you have any hot tea for me, please message me on Instagram. I love you guys. Bye.